All right, so we're in Recce Hall, which is home to College of Computing. College of Computing focuses on computer sciences, software engineering, and other information systems. Uh, here, there are a lot of computer science labs with computers that are replaced every four years to make sure they stay current. Right over here, we're approaching the testing center. The testing center is somewhere else to take your exams if you have testing accommodations or if you're rescheduling an exam because of sports or something else, being sick, something like that. And then behind me, we're gonna be seeing a really cool study area. So here you may have noticed that there's a lot of really cool nooks to study on campus. This is one of them. Um, sometimes they put up a fireplace, like a project a fireplace up on the wall. So we get a nice study environment while uh, focusing on classes. So we're here on the first floor of Fisher Hall. Fisher Hall is home to the Mathematical Sciences and Physics Department. Behind me is the Physics Department office. Upstairs is the Math Department. Math, there are five concentrations, all really unique and offer a lot of cool first and second year paid internship opportunities. The Physics Department also has really cool research going on by professors, including nanophysics and stuff with the cloud chamber. It all sounds super cool. We're gonna come this way and we're gonna check out one of the larger lecture halls that's here at Michigan Tech. Um, this lecture hall seats 400 students. I've had a few classes in there my freshman year, including chemistry and physics, both of which had labs associated with them. So it wasn't really a big deal that I was in the big classroom. Professors also have a really great opportunities, including learning centers and office hours to communicate with them about that. So we're just gonna come right in here. Fisher 135 is the room. And let's go. So we're here in Fisher 135. And as you can see, it's a pretty large room. Um, there are a few really fun things that happen here besides classes. For example, the film board puts on movies here every weekend. Those movies are right out of theaters, but before you can rent them. $3 a piece, plus they have concessions and a popcorn machine. It's a really fun thing to do on the weekends if you're not interested in going outside. So another thing that happens in bigger rooms like this all across campus is something called HuskyCast. HuskyCast is a way for um, a camera to record professors teaching as well as their audio and their slides and what they're writing down. So if you miss a lecture or you wanna go back and study, that's always an option. So we're here at the Math Learning Center. The Math Learning Center is one of the more established learning centers here on campus. It's probably one of the biggest. There are different tables in here for the different math classes that you may be taking, calculus, algebra, any of those things. Um, the tutors here uh, have a great employment opportunity. They did well in their math courses and they're here to help. You can set up appointments or you can come to walk-in hours. So we're here in the Walker Arts and Humanities Center, which is home to the Humanities Department and the Visual Performing Arts Department. Behind me is the Humanities Digital Media Zone or the HDMZ. In this building, you'll take classes for language, humanities classes, and different things like that. Um, there are quite a few majors and minors involved with that, and I recommend you check those out if you're interested. And then upstairs is the McArdle Theater. The McArdle Theater is um, an opportunity for students to get involved and see theater productions. There's also a 2D and 3D uh, digital art studio upstairs, which is really neat. We're gonna come over here and look at the Multi-Literacy Center, which is the learning center associated with presentations, technical writing, and things like that. It's a really great resource for any student, whether no matter what department you're in, because you're gonna to have to do writing, you're gonna to have to do reading, and you're definitely gonna to have to do some presentations. So here we are in the Rose Center. The Rose Center is where all the visual performing arts uh, performances and there's some rehearsal spaces upstairs like practice rooms, band room, orchestra room, stuff like that. So the Rose Center, we host so many different fun things, um, comedians, uh, ballets, there's a circus, um, really fun stuff that students can go to, which is included in their tuition. There's a lot of posters back here which show different events that have happened. Uh, you'll take a look at some of those. So here we are in the Rose Center lobby. Here, oh, many events happen. Some locals have events here. And there's also, um, for the department that I belong to, the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department, we have a reception here the night before career fair to get to know recruiters, um, which ends up being really helpful. It's a really beautiful, sunny area, and it's a nice area to wait before going into the amazing performances you can see here. Some art from students is displayed here. There are also art galleries downstairs. Out the big windows that are behind me, we can see McNair Hall. McNair Hall has a great view 
of the uh, water, which is right over there. And it also has probably one of the best dining halls on campus. Behind McNair, you can't really see it from here, is Hillside Place. Hillside Place is another living option that you should definitely look into. Right over here is the Experience Tech entrance. Experience Tech is the name for um, students getting into the performances here. So right over here is where you'd enter as a student to go to see the ballet, the Nutcracker Ballet, which we do every three years. We're gonna go right out these doors and see what's really coolest right out here. So we're here right outside the Rosé Center and behind me is a wind turbine that was a senior design project done by engineering students. It's a really cool example of getting to apply your knowledge into things that you can see on campus that beautify campus and the world. So we're here in the Minerals and Materials Engineering Building, or as students call it, the m and Here in the m and is home to the Materials Science Engineering major and Biomedical Engineering. Materials Science Engineering looks at materials for engineering applications. So they do some really cool stuff with strong research opportunities, internship opportunities. Uh, this building also houses the foundry and a, um, other like maker spaces for material scientists. And then there's also biomedical engineering here. Biomedical engineering, um, it's like the health applications of engineering, really cool stuff. They do some really innovative stuff here and I'm excited for you to get involved. So we're here in Dillman Hall. Dillman Hall is home to two departments, civil and environmental engineering and engineering fundamentals. Engineering fundamentals um, is where if you wanted to do engineering and you don't know which kind or you don't want to declare a type of engineering yet, this is where you'd be. Um, so Engineering Fundamentals also has first year engineering classes that all freshman year um, engineers take. So in those you learn about things like MATLAB coding and 3D design and engineering drawing. You also explore different in, um, engineering fields so you can really get to know what you want to do before continuing your education. Civil and Environmental Engineering is also in this building and another building which we're going to see shortly. So. In here, um, there's a water resources lab right over here. I've actually been in that lab before. It's a ton of fun. We look at pipe flow and open channel flow and different resources about water and how to control water and where it goes. So similar environmental engineering are nationally renowned programs here. They're really great. Um, so we span into the building right over here. It's called Dow Environmental Sciences and Engineering, and we'll check that out shortly. So here we are in the Envi Dow Environmental Sciences and Engineering building. So here, there are three departments housed. Upstairs is civil and environmental engineering, just like in Dillman Hall. There's also the biology department and the geological engineering department downstairs. The biology department is really awesome about getting um, lab experience, getting stuff done. Um, a lot of people really enjoy it. They get really cool internship opportunities and research opportunities. There also is an over 70% placement rate in medical school, while the national average is between 30 and 40%. That's really cool. So there's also the medical laboratory sciences major that's here. The medical laboratory sciences major here is top of the nation, really awesome. You get a hands-on part in diagnosing people and getting involved in the medical industry. Downstairs is geological engineering where professors have a lot of research going on in volcanoes and um, petroleum and a lot of really cool things that are really important to our daily lifestyle. So here we are, we're still in Dow Environmental Sciences and Engineering Building, and we're in this really cool atrium study area. So um, out here you can see a few really cool things. We're looking out on the water right now. A little bit hard to see because it's covered in snow. Um, over there, just on the hill, is Mount Ripley, Michigan Tech Ski Hill. So Mount Ripley, you have free lift tickets. Um, a lot of students really enjoy that, taking gym classes, you know, getting to uh, ski and snowboard. And then, down here, there's also the Great Lakes Research Center, which focuses on um, Great Lakes aquatic research. As an environmental engineer, we go out on boats and we collect water samples, which dock right there at the building, and get to analyze them, which is really, really cool and really puts me ahead in the career field. So here we are looking out this window, and we can see something really cool. Um, there's a snowmobile trail that goes right behind campus here. There are also snowmobile parking lots on campus for students who have snowmobiles. Super fun. Um, well, there's, it's not covered in snow, uh, you can walk on that trail, it's right next to the water, um, really pretty, a lot of biking, um, so there's always fun stuff to do year-round. 
So this is the Mechanical Engineering, Engineering Mechanics Building. Um, this is where Mechanical Engineering Department is based out of, hence the name. Um, this is also the tallest academic building in the Upper Peninsula and the um, tallest or second tallest normal building in the Upper Peninsula. We're second to um, uh, office building in Escanaba. Um, <clears throat> during your first few years, you're going to be pretty spread out through all of campus. Um, but once you get into your senior level classes, you're going to be then in your uh, major specific building. So for mechanical engineering, it is this building. So this room right here, this is our active learning center, um, or more commonly known by students as our fishbowl. This is a really nice room because it doubles as um, a uh, normal classroom. It has three professor stations in the middle. Your professor can use any one of them, and then they can also project their uh, screen onto all of the monitors throughout the room. And then also, uh, the room is set up into groups of four, so it's really great for group projects. And the computers all have 300-degree swivel, so you can show everybody in your group what's on your screen. Um, then they also have keypads on the tables, and you can project your screen onto the monitor above so everybody can see. Uh, when it's not being used as a classroom, it's also an open computer lab for all students. And then we have whiteboards all around the room, um, and then you can also use whiteboard markers on the windows as well. And then on the other side of the hallway, it's kind of hard to see right now, um, but this room right here is used by our uh, aerospace enterprise group. Uh, this is actually their clean room, so they work on the electronics for their satellites. Um, and this past summer, they actually sent a satellite into space, pairing with uh, Na our NASA uh, program. So all of these cases show different senior design projects. Um, when if you're taking an engineering major specifically, you're required to do senior design or enterprise. These are two different programs that have the same basic idea. Um, they are where you're going to be put into a group. Uh, you're either with people in your major or outside of your major, and you're actually going to be working on a project that is typically sponsored by uh, outside company like Ford, GM, Chrysler, some big name companies. So you can get experience on working on a project. You go through the process of figuring out what the problem is. Is, uh, working with your customer to figure out what the ideal solution is and then you're actually going to have a real product um, like some of these cases show where you're actually gonna have like a physical product that you're giving to your company this is our engineering learning center this is located in our mechanical engineering building but this is offered to all engineering students not just mechanical engineers this is a learning center for like the statics dynamics all those basic engineering classes that all engineers have to take um, we have learning centers like this scattered throughout all of campus, open to students. They're all staffed with learning center coaches who are students who have already taken the classes um, and had to pass it with a B or better, so they actually know the material and are able to help you. A lot of students use this where they'll just come and work on their homework, so then if they have a quick question, there's a learning center coach that can answer it right away rather than having to struggle through their problems or anything like that. This is also where our mechanical engineering advisors are located. Anytime you have a question and their doors are open, you can jump in and ask them, or you can schedule um, different walk-in hours or like an actual uh, meeting time where you can meet with them as well. We also have our mechanical engineering uh, flowchart on this wall right here. Uh, it's a really nice tool. All majors have a flowchart associated with them, so then it really comes in handy when you're getting ready to schedule your classes, so you know which classes you should have which semesters, and then it also shows your prerequisites and co-requisites, so the classes you have to take before, or you can take them at the same time as that class. This is our ROTC building, um, which stands for our Reserve Officer Training Program. Um, this is a program that we have Air Force and Army cadets. Um, <clears throat> this is a really great scholarship program where you can actually get scholarships through the government to go to school here, and then you'll be taking classes where you learn about military procedure, you'll go on field training throughout the year, um, and then learn everything you would need to, and then once you graduate, you're actually gonna go into the military for either Air Force or Army as um, an officer. So you kind of like learn, you get a degree and you get um, real training into the military. So this is the um, Electrical Energy Resource Center. This is for electrical en engineering and computer engineering. Uh, we have many different labs for electrical and computer engineering, including circuits, microcontrollers, and others. These are all individual labs where you're going to be working on the project yourself and with other people around you, where you can ask questions and work together on the project, but you have to do all the work individually. We also have our uh, electrical, energy, or electrical engineering and computer engineering learning center based in this building as well.
This is our chemical science building. This is where our um, <clears throat> chemistry and also our chemical engineering departments are based out of. Right behind me is our unit operations laboratory. This is where um, students will actually get a hands-on uh, learning for chemical engineering. This is a fully functioning chemical engineering lab and this is all of the equipment that these students will be using once they graduate. This is all on a smaller scale but they still have that hands-on experience. So this is a senior level lab. You won't use it until then and you won't use this lab unless you're a chemical engineer. There are chemical uh, chemistry, like normal university chemistry or organic chemistry labs in the upper levels of this building uh, that are used by other majors, um, especially like mechanical engineering. This is like the normal university chemistry that they would have to take. We also have our process simulation control center in here as well. This is where students will actually be able to find a very specific range for all of the equipment and control it that way rather than having to use dials to find that specific range. So right now we are in our Memorial Union building here at Michigan Tech. So here we have our North Coast Grill in Delhi. So this is more of a spot for our commuter students that we have here at campus so they can come here, get a bite to eat. We also have our tables over here for our group work that students can work on. So kind of more of your hangout spot for campus. Here we have our campus store. So this houses all of our books and materials for campus. So one thing that is really nice about our campus store here is that any purchase that you make here, you can put onto your student bill, which you can later pay off. We also have some of our merchandise in here that you can come take a look at. One thing that my family really likes to do is for Christmas time, I'll come in here, buy all of my family's presents, and then my mom will later pay off the bill. So that's kind of nice to have that option. But over here we have our undergraduate student government offices. So if you have any questions about campus or want to talk to your campus representative, you can do that there. And then we also have our student activities office on this floor as well, which you can go in there and ask any questions about our over 200 plus student organizations that we have here. Here we have our student financial services center. So if you have any questions about FAFSA, financial aid, or any of our scholarships or grants that you can receive through the school, you can come here, ask those questions. We also have our student billings office here. So if you need to pay your student bill, we, you can also do that online. Or if you need to cash a check, they can do that for you here as well. And here we have our Wayne Water Center for Student Success. So this houses our Dean of Students office and also our Registers office. Through our Dean of Students office, we put on a week-long orientation program for our first year students. So you'll arrive a week early to campus and you'll go through the week with an orientation team leader and kind of get yourself a little bit more acclimated to campus before we set you loose for the rest of your classes. And we also have Excel peer mentors and academic success coaches through our Dean of Students office. For our Registers Office, if you have any questions about scheduling your classes, whether you need to add or drop a class, and also if you want to run a degree audit, they can help you there as well. And so through these doors here, we have our transportation services office. So if you need to buy a commuter pass or a resident parking pass, you can do that there. And we also have a free shuttle that goes around all of campus in Houghton and Hancock area for our students that they can use as well. We are now in our academic office building. So this is home to our College of Business and Economics and also our social sciences department. Through our social sciences department, we have majors like anthropology and law and society, which those majors in that department is a little bit more focused on research here at Michigan Tech. Through our College of Business and Economics, we have our LSGI trading room. So their students of any major are, tra are trading up to $2 million worth of real money on the stock market. So right now we are in front of our Harold Meese Center. So this is home to our Department of Cognitive and Learning Sciences. So here you can get a major or minor in psychology. And we can also use our psychology classes here for our general education courses that are required for our students. So here we are in our UJ Nobel Forestry Wood Products building. So here is our forestry atrium. 
We have four degree programs here. So we have forestry, wildlife ecology and conservation, natural resource management and applied ecology and environmental science. Here we have some of our faculty members through the school, which they have their different degree interests that they have. So you can do research with any one of our professors through our Earn and Learn program. So that is available for all first year students coming into our College of Forest Resources. And you can earn up to $1,000 doing paid research with our faculty members. All of our flags across our atrium show where our students have either gone for their jobs for different countries or where they are currently working now or where they have gone for research. Here we have our staff office area for our College of Forest Resources. So we have our dean's office through here, along with a couple of our other faculty members. And all of the woodworking in this building is original to when it was first built. On the wall here, we have a mural of our Ford Center and Ford Forest. So all of our students in our degree programs here we have to go through a full semester in either the summer or the fall at our Ford Center. So this is a complete immersion into our different fields that we would be studying. You spend anywhere from about one to three hours in the classroom and the rest of the day you are outside getting hands-on experience with different forest inventory, timber harvesting, wildlife techniques, anything that you can possibly think of that we would have to do in our real jobs after we graduate. Along the wall here, we have just of the many different clubs that we have through our College of Forest Resources. So we have our Forest Guild, our Wetlands Club, Wildlife Society. So these are just one of the many different student organizations that you can be a part of here on campus, but you don't have to be in our certain degree programs in order to be a part of our different organizations here. So any student on campus can join our different programs. Also in our College of Forest Resources, we have our Xi Sigma Pi National Honor Society. So that is our Forestry National Honor Society that students can join while they are here. So through Xi Sigma Pi, we offer tutoring for our students through any of our classes that, we, that you would take here in any of the majors. So we're at the Student Development Complex, or the SDC, which is home to our many sports programs, including intramural sports and varsity sports, as well as our Department of Kinesiology and Integrated Physiology. Let's go take a look. So right here in the entrance of the SDC, we see the main ticket office, which is for guests to acquire their tickets for different sporting events, but also for students to find out the different sporting events that are going on. They do not have to buy tickets as they get their pass through the experience tech fee included with tuition. The experience tech fee includes the use of all the SDC facilities, including the multi-purpose room, the racquetball courts, the locker rooms, pool, fitness center, and ice arena during the recreational times. Let's go check out the multi-purpose room. The multi-purpose room has a track, basketball, volleyball courts, badminton, and punching bags available. The intramural and varsity teams use this facility for training, and there's also a climbing wall on the left-hand side here, which is used by the Outdoor Adventure Program. Here we are on the second floor with the Department of Kinesiology and Integrated Physiology, or KIPP. KIPP includes exercise and sports and fitness majors. Students who are interested in pre-health professions, like physical therapy and occupational therapy, can see their advisors here to discuss their educational future. KIPP also has a joint PhD program within physical therapy with Central Michigan University. They also have three of their five research labs in this building. KIPP runs the PE courses that we take as students. So anything you'd take from rock climbing to skiing to yoga would be run through this department. The fitness studio is available for PE classes like martial arts, yoga, and cycling. And it is also available for the Husky Fit programs, which are programs for community members and students to get involved in these fun gym-like activities um, without taking a gym class. Dis students have discounted rates um, for these Husky Fit programs, so it's a great opportunity to stay active when you're not taking a PE class. The fitness center right next door is a gym available for students included in their experience tech fee. It has up-to-date and state-of-the-art cardiovascular and weight equipment. It's available in the early morning, late evenings, and weekends for students to use at their leisure. It's also utilized for PE classes like um, weight training and other fitness classes. The pool is available for students to use um, through gym classes and also at leisure times. Um, it's used for intramural sports, Husky Fit programs, and other student activities. It's an eight lane, 25 yard lap pool 
with two one meter diving boards at one end. The balcony is also used for training um, for the track team, like shot put and long jump. The UP Health System Portage has a full service student health center operated within the student development complex. There are doctors on staff with same day service and walk in hours available for students. There's also a pharmacy, rehabilitation center, and x-rays available. On the ground floor of the SDC, there's a rifle and pistol range, both the clubs available on campus and gym classes. All weapons must be registered with the student public safety services. This is the John D. McKinnis Student Ice Arena. It holds our Division I men's hockey team. It has 4,200 seats for spectators, as well as 750 first come, first serve seats for students. There are sky boxes, a bar, and concession stands to be used during the games. The ice arena is also used for special events like spring commencement, PE classes, intramural sports, sports camps, high school hockey games, figure skating groups, and leisure skating.